played well and has given the Raiders some continuity at the position, but it's clear that neither he nor Pryor are the long-term answer at the quarterback spot for Oakland. And today's game is being broadcast in Spanish. We're available using the SAP button on your television. Well, the weather here in the Bay Area, 60 degrees. The wind, five miles per hour, partly cloudy skies. Terrific day here in Oakland, California. O.Co. Coliseum. Oakland Raiders have officially been eliminated. They needed about 17 things to happen in order to make the playoffs, but with a Miami win, Oakland is out officially. Kickoff from Janikowski to Demps. Demps slow down at the 20. Now Demps finding a lane. Quinton Demps out across midfield in Kansas City has been outstanding on special teams this season. Demps gives the Chiefs excellent field position to open up on a 51-yard return. Yeah, really a poor kickoff by Janikowski. It bounces to Demps. He does a nice job of the short hop and then follows his blocking. Breaks a tackle there, but this is really an example of a team that in the Raiders at this point of the season, vulnerable on special teams, just as the Redskins were last week against the Chiefs. Alex Smith, back in the Bay Area, spent his first eight years as a member of the San Francisco 49ers, now leading the Chiefs. Smith, dump off to Charles. Getting to the outside, Jamal Charles down the sideline. Nobody's going to catch him. Charles goes all the way. Touchdown, 49 yards. What a way to open up for KC. Yeah, just a simple screen pass to Jamal Charles looking to pick up a couple of yards, but this is Jamal Charles. His fourth touchdown reception of the year to go along with his 10 rushing touchdowns. Out in front, he gets a fine block by Rodney Hudson, the center. Does he stay in bounds? Apparently so. The official's right on the spot there, and Charles goes in untouched. Smith to Charles to get things started for Kansas City. One play, 49 yards, 22 seconds in. Ryan suck up on for the extra point. Chiefs open with a bang in Oakland. It's quiet in the black hole. 7-0 Kansas City. The last Chief to lead the team in rushing yards and receptions in the same season have to go back 10 years. Priest Holmes in 2003. Jamal Charles is doing it right now for Kansas City. One play, 49 yards for the Chiefs. They've got a 7-0 lead on the Oakland Raiders. Ryan Suckup will kick it off for the Chiefs. Deep man is Tyron Jones. Thought about it. And he takes the knee. Raiders will have it at the 20-yard line. Matt McGloin making his fifth start of the season for the Oakland Raiders at quarterback. Yeah, he told us that the Raiders must put together a complete game to beat the Chiefs. They have been uh, have to be more focused, more consistent on third downs. And I today look for Marcel Reese to be matched up on a linebacker on third downs, an advantage that uh, McGloin wants to use very often today. Six offensive linemen. Menelik Watson is out there for Oakland to open things up. Rashad Jennings in the backfield with Reese. Fake the handoff. McGloin to throw it. Getting Reese involved right away. Marcel Reese pushed out of bounds. Big play for Oakland to open things up. Sean Smith with the shove. 45 yards on the catch and run. Well, here's the linebacker, Derek Johnson. Reese comes out of the backfield here after the play action fake. And this is exactly what uh, McGloin is talking about. Get the versatile Marcel Reese on a linebacker. Derek Johnson, one of the fastest linebackers, is no match for Reese on this play. Marcel Reese told us the other day, I'm okay with whatever the coaches need from me. I'm just not okay with losing. And that's what the Raiders are trying to change. On a first down in Kansas City territory, Jennings gets the call and picks up two yards. Frank Zombo in to make the play for Kansas City. On offense for the Oakland Raiders up front, Mike Brizel is back. Brizel missed the loss to the Jets last week with ankle and knee trouble. 
Back some receivers. Rashad Jennings didn't play last week because of a concussion. He's in there, but as you just saw, Marcel Reese is going to be a big part of the offense as well. They line up together with Reese in front of Jennings. Second and eight. Jennings surges to just shy of the 30-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup. Derek Johnson in on that play for Kansas City. Defensively for the Chiefs last week, the 45-10 win over Washington. Tyson Jackson had a pair of sacks in that victory. Linebackers, Tamba Haley having another Pro Bowl season. Ali, 11 sacks for Kansas City. Zombo is in for the injured. Justin Houston missing his third straight game with the elbow injury. Eric Berry leads all defensive backs in the NFL with three and a half sacks this season. Dime package here for KC. Third and five for Oakland. Play clock down to four. McLoin operating out of the gut. McLoin throws. Strong pass to Rivera. It's a first down. That's one thing Kansas City talked about. McLoin's willing to take chances and will throw it into tight windows. He did it just there for a gain of 12. Yeah, this is more like a porthole, though. Whoa, what a shot there. Six defensive backs, and Rivera gets inside. And McLoin fearless with that strike over the middle. They beat a very good corner in Brandon Flowers. McLaurin, undrafted free agent, he told us in his mind it doesn't matter if you're a first-round pick, if you're an undrafted free agent, you have to perform. It's a performance-based business, and that's why McLaurin is making his fifth straight start. McLaurin to throw it. Oh, he had a man open! Marcel Reese was by himself, and McLaurin threw it too deep. Yeah, Incomplete. A couple, a couple of things happened there. He bought so much time when started to roll out to the left side of our screen and Reese kind of stopped at the goal line here you can see number 45 I think that uh, McGloin thought he may have been continuing on his route even if he had been continuing I think that ball got out of his hand and would have been out of bounds second and ten for the Raiders Jennings in the backfield give it to Jennings a little bit of a stutter step met by Alan Bailey. It's a four-yard pickup for Jennings. Darren McFadden out once again for Oakland with the ankle injury. Let's go back to that last play where Reese comes down the field and stops here. Stacked in behind Denarius Moore who's playing with a bad shoulder. But if he had continued running, see, even the ball was just thrown too far. Too excited for McGloin on that play when you see a guy so wide open near the goal line. And it brings up third and six. Kansas City with a 7 and nothing lead. Smith to Charles on a 49-yard touchdown. Shotgun for McGloin. Raiders looking for the equalizer. Drop ball. Underneath it would have been a first down for Rivera. And now Janikowski will come on for Oakland. Yeah, there's nothing more you can say about this than just a drop pass by Rivera. Slightly thrown behind him. It's still a... Play that uh, an NFL wide receiver, and even if you're a rookie at this point of the season, you've got to make that catch. Critical third down drop by Rivera. Rivera, the rookie tight end out of Tennessee, sixth round draft pick. 32 catches on the season, unable to haul that one in. 34 yard attempt for Janikowski. He knocks it through. The Raiders are on the board. 7 3, Kansas City leads it. 11 05 mark. First quarter in Oakland. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. Find our fares online only at southwest.com. AT&T, rethink possible. And by Ford, only Ford gives you EcoBoost fuel economy and a whole lot more. And back here in the Bay Area, Uncle Jesse watching the broadcast today. And there's the Bay Bridge. We join you from O.Co. Coliseum. Matt McLoin had some opportunities there. Raiders have to settle for the 34-yard field goal after the eight-play 65-yard drive. 45 yards on the catch by Marcel Reese. Chiefs lead it 7-3. Janikowski will kick it off. Demps and Gray are deep. Demps has a touchdown return, 95 yards this year. No Dexter McCluster today. Out with the ankle problem. Niall Davis 
the return man for Kansas City on that play as he brings it across the 30-yard line. Time for our Fouts focus and the versatility of Jamal Charles. Well, we've already seen it, Ian. Wherever he lines up, he's a threat to make a game-changing play. Last week against Washington, lined up as a wide receiver, took the quick screen pass from Alex Smith, got some help from his right tackle, Eric Fisher, and wide receiver Donnie Avery, and got into the end zone. Had five catches in the first game for 50 yards, one today for 49 and a touchdown. 58 catches now in the season for Charles. This is a running play. Charles stamped for no gain. Nick Roach with the tackle and Alex Smith 29-8-1 in his last three seasons as a starting quarterback. Well, he told us his concern with the Raiders and it's being one of those dangerous teams that has nothing more to lose in the season that even the Chiefs can't afford to give him hope and have them hang around in the game. He says the Chiefs have to start fast as they did last week. They have started fast today. On a second and ten. Charles. Brought down just short of the 40-yard line. Let's check out the starting offense for Kansas City. Injury to Brandon Albert sitting once again. Albert out with a hyperextended knee, so Donald Stevenson getting the nod. Alex Smith had high praise for the job that Stevenson has done. And this offensive line, he said, they've really improved over the course of the season. Backs and receivers, Charles, the multi-dimensional talent. Headed to another Pro Bowl. He's been to Hawaii in 2010 and 2012. Third and short, Smith. Oh, great hands. Dwayne Bow on the receiving end. And a first down for Kansas City. They'll move the chains. It's a seven-yard pickup. Charles Woodson over there defensively. Well, Brandon Ross playing cornerback. Actually, at Phillip Adams here. That ball perfectly thrown. Rob Adams had good coverage that time. 50 catches now for Bow, But uh, the big catch, though, on third down keeps his drive alive. across the 45-yard line. Motion man is Avery for the Chiefs. Deep drop for Smith. Smith will throw it. Open man is Avery. Falls down, gets back up, an extra yardage. Into Oakland territory to the 30-yard line. They pick up 23 yards on the pass. Well, the key on this play is the time that uh, Smith has to throw this ball. He got back in rhythm and right down the sidelines behind C.O. Moore is Avery. A busted coverage for the Raiders as Mike Jenkins playing deep and not to keeping track where every, Avery was on the sidelines. Avery had just one catch last week for seven yards in that blowout win over Washington. That ended a three-game losing streak for Kansas City. Currently a half game behind Denver in the AFC West. Five and one on the road. Smith, he is sacked. Pat Sims, first man there for Oakland. It's a loss of eight on the play. First man there and a first sack of the season for Sims. It's been a long time coming. But he beat the left guard, Jeff Allen. Here's Allen, and here's Sims right here. And it's just an overpowering pass rush here. Little swim move. Gets inside Stevenson, who is trying to block two men. So Sims combining with Houston. And a second and 19 now for Kansas City. Charles in the backfield, play fake. Smith looking downfield, lets it fly, incomplete. Donnie Avery with the future Hall of Famer Charles Woodson back there for Oakland. Defensively for the Raiders, they come in ranked 18th in team defense in the NFL. Up front, Stacy McGee is in for the injured Vance Walker. Walker out with a concussion. Linebackers for Oakland. Nick Roach is the leading tackler. He came over as a free agent for Chicago, and he's been the kind of leader that Dennis Allen is looking for. And Brandon Ross starts at safety. Tyvon Branch officially placed on IR with an ankle injury. Only two games for Branch this season. Third and 19. High throw. Snared by Charles. Charles after the catch. Jamal Charles is going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Kansas City. It's Charles. After the catch, he turns it upfield for 39 yards and his second of the day. Yeah, it's a spectacular catch, number one. 
but it was a blitz by the Raiders. Jason Tarver, defensive coordinator, bringing the blitz from this side. Watch Charles sneak out here on the screen. And there's just nobody there. Look at the catch with one hand. Never did pull it in. And then down the field, Chad Hall does a nice job. Again, going in untouched. They had to run that screen pass more. They're two for two for touchdowns. I think it's working. And just from the broadcast booth perspective, Ryan suck up with the extra point. Kansas City, a 14-3 lead. The skills of Jamal Charles on display in Oakland. 14-3 lead for the Chiefs. This rivalry dates back to the old AFL days. This is the 110th meeting between these two teams. None more contentious than in 1970. And here's Ben Davidson being jumped on by one of the Chiefs. Two more Chiefs come in. There's a big pile up. Davidson and Taylor are going at it. There are at least eight Chiefs. Here come all the Raiders. Holy Toledo. It's a free-for-all. George Blanda, 48-yard field goal to finish the game, tied. Final score, 17-17, the legendary Bill King on the call there. A lot of history between the Chiefs and the Raiders, Dan. Well, it's, you know, they've been playing since the beginning of the AFL. That's the unique thing about the AFC West. All four teams have been playing for 53 years now, and not any of them like each other. Suck up on the kickoff, Taiwan Jones coming into the outside. Jones brought down as he crossed the 25-yard line. Penalty flag thrown at the 19. During the return, holding the turn team from the 42. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down, open. Cleet Blakeman, our referee, Shelton Johnson, called for the penalty. Well, I'll give Andy Reid and Doug Peterson some credit for having the perfect play called. Watch the blitz here for the, uh, the Raiders, all coming from this side. The screen pass goes out to the weak side. And then just uh, poor pursuit and horrible tackling by Oakland here after a great catch. And look at this speed and explosion. Two catches, 88 yards, two touchdowns for Jamal Charles. McLoin and the Raiders open up with a first and 10. Tip ball, incomplete. Dontari Poe getting some penetration. Fantasy football fans keep the excitement going all postseason with playoff challenge. Now with bigger cash prizes. See rules and sign up at cbssports.com slash challenge. Here in Oakland, O.Co. Coliseum. It opened in 1966. Talked to the Chiefs about coming in here and they relish the chance to play in front of these fans. Here's McLaurin, slant, threading the needle, Streeter breaks a tackle. First down out near the 40-yard line. Rod Streeter, physical at 6'3", 200 pounds, that covers 26 yards. Yeah, and Brandon Flowers, uh, the other corner, this is Sean Smith here, but Flowers talked about the Raider receivers. The first thing that always comes to mind when you think about the silver and black wideouts is speed, but he said they're, they're more complete receivers now, big, bigger, stronger, and they still have the speed. As Streeter broke a tackle to get that game. Rod Streeter trying to become the first 1,000-yard receiver since Randy Moss for the Raiders. Give his to Jennings. Jennings stood up after the gain of three. Mike DeVito forcing him backwards as he crossed the 40-yard line. Here's a look at the AFC West right now. Kansas City, an opportunity after San Diego knocked off Denver. Chargers now 7-7, seven and seven. Oakland at 4-9. The Chiefs still with a chance to win this division, still with a chance to get the number one seed in the AFC after starting the year 9-0. and oh. yeah, I like the way that uh, the end of the season, the AFC West teams will be playing against each other. Kansas City has not swept the Raiders since 2006. McLaurin out of the pistol to Jennings. Four-yard gain. They'll spot him just short of the 45-yard line. Tackle made by Tyson Jackson for Kansas City. Jennings averaged over four and a half yards a carry on the season as he comes out on this third down, but a very valuable player as he has filled in for Darren McFadden most of the year. And Dan, there's a pretty good chance we're not going to see Darren McFadden in a Raider uniform ever again. Well, it's just too frustrating. Seems to get injured almost 
every other game he plays. McFadden missing his 19th game in the last 39 for Oakland. Third and three. McLaurin trying to convert. It's intercepted. Could be a pick six. Eric Berry untouched. Kansas City blowing away Oakland here in the first quarter. Touchdown, Chiefs. Now we talked about McLaurin's willingness to try to fit the ball in. Real tight spots, but this had no chance at all. Here's Eric Berry right in the middle, almost like a nickel linebacker here. He's going to read the eyes. Look at him, just stare down the quarterback, expecting the slant route to Reese, and then clear sailing to the end zone. Eric Berry, he is a star. Kansas City now, 11 returns for touchdowns this season. That's the most in the NFL. That ties a franchise record. That's his second of the season. 47 yards on the return. And they've gone silent in Oakland. Ryan Sucka with the extra point. 21-3, Kansas City doing it on offense, doing it on defense. Chiefs up big. NFL on CBS is sponsored by Sonos, the wireless hi-fi system, and by Walmart. Walmart's got the season's hottest gifts at everyday low prices. Come in and see for yourself. Aerial coverage of today's game is provided by MetLife. Bird's eye view of O.Co. Coliseum. We've seen a lot of Kansas City highlights from up there. 21 to 3. The Chiefs on top of the Raiders. And Suck Up will kick it off for the Chiefs. Jones, the return man. Jones is going to take it out of the end zone. Right up the middle, and Jones thrown down as he hit the 17 yard line by James Michael Johnson. Well, it was a third down, and uh, McGloin said he was going to go to Marcel Reese. Here's Barry right here. It's just a little slant and stop route by Reese, but uh, just watch the eyes of Barry breaking in front of the route and then taking it all the way back. But at some point, uh, McLean's got to be a little bit more judicious where that tight spot is trying to fit the ball in and maybe look off a safety or two. Kansas City has outscored their opponents 38-3 to in the first quarter over the last two games. 17 last week against Washington, 21 this week. Play fake. McGloin, incomplete. Jaron Mastrude, the intended target for Kansas City. The most first quarter points the Chiefs have scored since December 6, 1998. They put up 21 that day at Denver. Talking to Dennis Allen about the use of his quarterbacks today, he said we will see Terrell Pryor because of his explosiveness and his big playability. We may see him sooner than even Dennis Allen might have expected to see him. And Allen mentioned that they want teams to have to account for both McGloin and for Pryor in preparation. Handed off to Reese. Running off tackle, Reese picks up five yards for Oakland, hit by Akeem Jordan. This is an Oakland team that's 4-9. They've lost three in a row. They've won just one of their last six games. Beat Houston back in week 11. And they've had real trouble beating teams with winning records. Haven't beat a team with a winning record since 2011. I mean, that's unbelievable. That means you, don't, you never win the first game of the year, the second game of the year. It was November 27, 2011, beat Chicago. The Bears were 7-3. and three. They were playing without Jay Cutler that day. Jennings has got a first down. Across the 30-yard line for Oakland. They'll move the change with an 8-yard pickup for Rashad Jennings, who's been one of the big surprises for the Raiders, the former Jacksonville Jaguar, getting the opportunity with the injury to McFadden. Now, this will do wonders for Matt McLaurin more than anything else, just to get a first down, get a little breathing room and uh, keep the offense on the field. This Oakland team will have a lot of cap space. They'll have seven draft picks in 2014. So as they remake this roster, trying to figure out who's going to fit in, who's going to be a part of it. Underneath to Streeter. 
Spun down after the gain of five. Tambaha Lee in on that stop. But you look around the league, and the teams that are still trying to figure out their identity are usually the teams that don't know whether or not they have a quarterback on their roster moving forward. And Oakland would qualify. Absolutely. It's been three years now for Terrell Pryor as a quote-unquote project. His knee injury didn't help his progress this year. Deep ball. McGloin. They got a throw flag there. And they will. Streeter against Flowers. Pass interference. Defense. Number 24. Ball replaced with a spot of foul. First down, open. Now Brandon Flowers is going to make this very easy call for the officials as Streeter, the good move there, that's an illegal bump, that's more contact, that's holding. So uh, easy call on a 26-yard penalty against Brandon Flowers, but you can tell that McGloin has a lot of trust in his fellow free agent, Rod Streeter. Raiders continue to go with the extra offensive lineman, Menelik Watson. Stutter step move for two and a half yards for Rashad Jennings. With the playoff races heating up, download NFL Mobile to get live video access to exclusive premium content on your smartphone. Call Star Star NFL to download or go to NFL.com slash mobile to learn more. Message and data rates may apply. Motion man is mastered on a second and seven now. Total yards. Oakland actually in front. McGloin picks his man Jennings. Brought down at the 31 yard line. That's a pickup of four through the air. So decisions moving forward. Does Rashad Jennings factor into the future for Oakland? They've certainly seen a lot from him as not just a runner, but a pass catcher as well. Dangerous through the air. And he's also been a solid special teams player. So there will be a position for Rashad Jennings. I mean, he's really bailed out the Raiders in light of uh, all the injuries to McFadden. Now Tywan Jones comes in. Jones has been bouncing back between defense and offense as a member of the Raiders. McLaurin. Great hand. Streeter streaks down the sideline. What an effort by Rod Streeter, the second year wide out, out of Temple. 23 yards. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds at about the 8-yard line, but a lot of man-to-man -man coverage by the Chiefs. This time they drop into a zone, and there's nobody on the strong side of the formation. Zombo will get him out of bounds before he can get to the pylon. But a couple of big plays now for Rod Streeter. We told you Randy Moss, the last Raider to go over 1,000 yards receiving. That was in 2005. Streeter with an opportunity is now over 800 on the year. First and goal for Oakland. Operating out of the gun. McGloin, pump. McGloin, end zone. Marcel Reese, the intended target. It's incomplete. Derek Johnson, the linebacker in coverage for Kansas City. Now this is what uh, the Chiefs feared is that to get a linebacker trying to cover Marcel Reese. And how close was that? Good coverage by Derek Johnson, forced that high throw. Ninth play of the drive, Menelik Watson is in, eligible on that O-line. Rookie out of Florida State, number 71. Handoff, Jennings. Slicing through inside the five. Four-yard gain for Oakland. Kendrick Lewis with a stop for Kansas City. Well, here's a situation where the uh, Raiders definitely will be throwing the ball as they bring in Streeter and Marcel Reese. It'll be interesting to see how they isolate Streeter and Reese. Reese is going to line up in the backfield, but keep your eye on number 80 here in the slot, Rod Streeter. Third and goal. Raiders trying to chip away at this Kansas City lead. Shotgun McGloin. Rush coming. McGloin tosses too high. Flag thrown. Michael Rivera in the vicinity. Two flags on the play. 
One in the end zone, one at the line of scrimmage. And now a third flag in there as well, right around the goal line. Yeah, it might be roughing the passer and uh, holding on Demps as he was trying to keep Michael Rivera from getting to that pass in the back of the end zone. So after the long discussion, Cleet Blakeman ready to deliver the news. Fouls against the defense on the play. Holding, number 35, that penalty's declined. Personal foul, roughing the passer, number 29. The penalty is half the distance to the goal line. First down, Oakland. So they accept the penalty against Eric Berry for roughing the passer as McGloin released the football. Well, Barry is number 29 coming on the blitz right up the middle, and he hits the quarterback in the head, which you can't do. Demps holding on Rivera. First and goal for Oakland. Motion man Rivera. Jennings gets the call. Jennings hit at the two. And that'll be the final play of this opening quarter. Kansas City up 21 to 3 on the Oakland Raiders. Back in Oakland, California, Kansas City leading the Raiders 21 to 3 as we start this second quarter. Ian Eagle, Dan Fouts, the rest of our NFL on CBS crew. Dennis Allen, the youngest head coach in the NFL at 41, won a Super Bowl as an assistant coach with the New Orleans Saints. Defensive coordinator with Denver. That led to the head coaching job with the Oakland Raiders. 151 yards of offense in the first quarter, but only three points to show for it. And Terrell Pryor is in. Now look for the Raiders to get him on the move. He will shift on the Wally over. Pryor looping. Pryor, stiff arm, out of bounds with a flag throw to Keen Jordan. Making the play defensively. Personal foul, grabbing the face of Defense, number 55. Turning half the distance to the goal line. First down open. And it was totally unnecessary penalty by Jordan he had enough speed to just push Pryor out of bounds here but by grabbing the face mask he gives the Raiders a first down he was going to keep Pryor out of the end zone don't know why he thought he had to grab the face mask Matt McGloin is back in for Oakland three penalties against the Chiefs were just underway in the second quarter this is exactly what the Chiefs didn't want to do is to give the Raiders hope like this one play for Pryor, face mask was called against Jordan. First and goal for Oakland. McLaurin on a give, Jennings goes over the top for the touchdown. Rashad Jennings takes off and takes it in for the score. A little misdirection here. Most of the time you see the tailback follow the fullback, but Reese is going to go this way, and over the left guard will go Jennings. Misdirection got the Chiefs, and Jennings gets in with ease. 11 plays, 82 yards for the Raiders. Extra point from Janikowski. Jennings now 10 carries, 32 yards, and a touchdown. 21 to 10. Chiefs. Second quarter just underway from Oakland. Offensive coordinator Greg Olson chatting with Matt McGloin and Terrell Pryor. Rashad Jennings taking it in from one yard away, his fifth rushing touchdown of the season. Oakland now trails Kansas City 21 to 10 with 14.40 to go in this first half. Janikowski will kick it off. Quentin Demps is once again deep. And Janikowski is going to kick it a little bit short on a bounce. It's Demps. A lot of traffic there as Demps is thrown down at the 27-yard line. NFC playoff picture. Seattle at 12-2 leading the way. New Orleans is 10-3. Philadelphia 
Had a chance to really put a stranglehold on the NFC East. Unable to do it. They get beaten by Minnesota. Chicago now at 8-6. and six. San Francisco 10-4. and four. Carolina 10-4. And, and Arizona is one game off the pace. First down for the Chiefs and Alex Smith. Back set up in the eye. Sherman in front of Charles. Charles... Kevin Burnett read it well. Shot through for a loss of three on the play. Well, they've stopped him on the ground, but not through the air. First play of the game offensively. 49-yard touchdown on a screen pass, and that was set up by the 50-yard kickoff return by Denson. Second possession for the Chiefs. Same play, same results from 39 yards out. So those two catches for 88 yards, two touchdowns for Charles. He now has 15 touchdowns on the season. Second and long, Charles. Up the middle to the 30-yard line for six yards. Also ran track at Texas, and you see those skills when it gets out into the open field. The dual threat of Charles, leading the Chiefs in rushing yards, leading the Chiefs in receptions this season. It's third down for the Raiders. They've been 40% stopping their opponents this year, which is terrible. Chiefs are two for two so far in the first half. This is a third and eight for Kansas City. Smith guns it. Knocked away, incomplete, Dwayne Bowe, the intended receiver, and a flag thrown. A real late flag thrown. A penalty flag on the play. Tracy Pass Porter. Defense, number 23, ball in place at the spot of foul, first down Kansas City. And it's Porter charged with a penalty. Dennis Allen looking for an explanation. Well, the official must have had that flag deep in his pocket because it took him a long time to throw this. A lot of contact here on both players' part. That would have been a better non-call than a pass interference call. Second penalty against the Raiders. Kansas City gets a first down at the 35. Niall Davis, the rookie out of Arkansas, is in. Davis running inside for three. Hunter and Sims combined to bring him down. We asked Charles about Niall Davis, and he said, explosive talent, and he's fresh. <laughs> he's quick, he's elusive, and then he said again, and he's fresh physically. <laughs> well, he gives uh, Jamal a chance to be fresh, especially in the fourth quarter. We'll see Davis more in the third quarter. That's where he's been able to get his yards and also give Charles a breather on the bench. Charles back in there on a second and seven for the Chiefs. They lead 21 to 10. Smith plenty of time. Out of trouble. Smith goes down. Short of the 40-yard line. The stumble by Smith. Picks up a yard and a half on the play. Now, this is so unusual to be here in December and have a dry field here at O.Dot Co. Normally this time of year, when it rains in the Bay Area, the water has no place to go because this field is 22 feet below sea level with no drains. And that will be the first of a number of San Francisco slash <laughs> Oakland Nuggets for you here from Bay Area native Dan Fouts. Uh, I've played here too many times. I know exactly how bad it is. Third and five for the Chiefs. Deep drop, Smith flag thrown. Charles bottled up. But penalty marker on the play after the two-yard pickup through the air. And this will be another penalty against Kansas City. It'll probably be declined because uh, Charles did not pick up the first down. Personal foul. Grabbing the face mask. Offense number 74. And he's declined. Brings up fourth down. So Jeff Schwartz, who's been starting at right guard, Instead of John Asamoa. Well, working inside here, watch his left hand. And he gets a real good grab on Daniel Muir's face mask. 
Greg Jenkins is the return man for Oakland, averaging 10 and a half yards per return. Dustin Colquitt averaging 45 yards per kick to punt it. Along this season of 65. Long punt. Jenkins will let this one go over his head and bounces into the end zone for a touchback. This is a rivalry that goes back 53 years. The first meeting back in 1960 at Kizar Stadium. The Chiefs and the Raiders. Kansas City 21, Oakland 10, 11-12 mark of the second quarter here at O.Co. Coliseum. John Madden in attendance. Oakland head coach, 69 to 78, of course, with CBS, then moved on to Fox and ABC Monday Night Football as well. Here's McGloin. Deep ball, one on one. Streeter in a matchup with Flowers, and it's the Chiefs defensive back who wins that battle. And Streeter prevented an interception maybe by Flowers by locating that ball, knocking it away with his left hand. Good coverage on the far side of the field on Andre Holmes. So second and ten for the Raiders. Raiders have 152 yards of offense. Jennings runs into a wall, unable to break free. Dontari Poe down there. Jordan, Lewis all in on that stop. Two and a half yard gain for Kansas City. Or Oakland. Third and eight now with 10.45 to play in this first half. For the Raiders, four different players have rushed for 100-plus yards in a game this season. Jennings, McFadden, Pryor, last week Marcel Reese, only team in the NFL to have done that. And that's good, and it's not so good. <laughs> yeah, shows that you don't have the one guy that's doing it consistently, but you've got some depth. McLoin, unable to handle the snap, going back to get it, and Kansas City jumps in. Tamba Holly. The Chiefs come away with the football. Well, let's check out where the snap goes here from Wisniewski. Just a little bit to the left and low. And McGloin trying to pick it up, then scrambling after it. Demps with a, a shot at it there. And then Holly comes in with his big strong mitts and pulls it away for Kansas City. Another critical error by the Raiders offense. Got to give this one on Wisniewski, a bad snap. And then McLoyne, instead of dropping on it immediately, tried to pick it up and make a play out of it. Second fumble recovery for Tambaha Lee this season. And another turnover for the Raiders. Kansas City with a first down deep in Oakland territory. Charles sets up as a receiver. Anthony Sherman is the single setback. A.J. Jenkins will shift behind him. It's a pitch. Jenkins runs it inside for a four-yard pickup. Jenkins, the former San Francisco 49er, acquired in a deal for wide receiver John Baldwin. Yeah, trying to take advantage of Jenkins' speed on that little pitch. Trying to draw the defense's attention over to Jamal Charles and run Jenkins to the other side of the field. Again, yeah, no Dexter McCluster here today. We asked Andy Reid about McCluster. He said it's an ankle infection. He got cleated in Washington. Mud got in there. He actually practiced on Wednesday, complained of some pain, and that's when the doctors got involved. Charles again sets up on the outside. Shotgun for Kansas City. Smith on a pass to Charles. Stays on his feet. Charles takes it right to the goal line. Walked down shy of the touchdown by Brandon Moore. See how close he comes to breaking the plane as he breaks the tackle of Woodson right there. And just short of the uh, goal line. Good call by the officials. But the Chiefs back in business. Injured Raider on the play. We'll come right back. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by T-Mobile. Unleash. Bud Light, official beer sponsor of the NFL. 
And by Kelly Blue Book. Everything you need to make a smart new car decision is at kbb.com. Welcome back. 21-10, to 10, Kansas City in front. Charles Woodson was the injured Raider on the play. He was able to walk off on his own. Medical staff was checking on him along the sideline. Seven offensive linemen for Kansas City on a first and goal. And a stoppage here by Cleet Blakeman. 9-19 mark of the second quarter. Please put 31 seconds on the play clock. 31. Let's go back to the injury to Woodson. Looked like he may have just had the wind knocked out of him when he hit the ground. He gets the big center falling on top of him. That's Rodney Hudson. Great effort by Charles, though, to get it inside the one. First and goal for the Chiefs. Sherman in front of Charles. Trying to add to their lead. Give it off to Charles. And he knifes his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Kansas City. Three touchdowns on the day for Jamal Charles. Two through the air, one on the ground. And the Chiefs in a rout in this first half. Well, Anthony Sherman with a great block on Lamar Houston there. And again, you talk about Jamal Charles, most versatile running back in the entire league and he's showing us everything today tambaha lee the fumble recovery after the bad snap by wisniewski kansas city turns it into seven points and ryan sucka it's been a busy day for sucka and sucka knocks it through for a 28 to 10 lead for the chiefs jamal charles Big numbers here on the West Coast. Jamal Charles has accounted for 106 of Kansas City's 137 total yards, a career high. Three touchdowns for Charles. And Dwayne Bow getting into the music, <laughs> feeling the beat here at Ho.co Coliseum. Yeah, he's got one catch for seven yards. He's done his job. He's on a third down. Ryan to kick off deep the 28 to 10 Kansas City in front with 8.59 to play in this first half. Greg Jenkins is now deep along with Taiwan Jones for Oakland. Here's suck up for Kansas City. Line drive. This one will roll out of bounds. So the Raiders will have good field position to open up this drive. Saturday, the road to the Final Four continues. Tom Izzo's Michigan State Spartans take on the Texas Longhorns. It all starts live at 4 Eastern, right here on the home of the Men's National Championship, CBS Sports. Arizona-Michigan yesterday. Just a fun game to watch. Had that NCAA tournament feel to it. And a great schedule of games for you throughout the season here on CBS and on the CBS One Sports eight. Network. Easy. On. First Three. down from the 40-yard line for Oakland. They trail 28 to 10. Marcel Reese running hard inside. Frank Zombo limits him to a two-yard gain on the play. Zombo, the former Green Bay Packer. To the 43. And talking to Reese about his role on this team says he never counts plays because that takes away from the team the cohesiveness he just wants to help his team win in any way he's such a valuable player plays so many different positions and be productive second and seven now for Oakland empty backfield McLoin working shotgun McLoin throws it underneath catch made but a quick tackle made on the play as Andre Holmes has his first grab of the day three-yard pickup second year wideout out of Hillsdale former Dallas Cowboy and now a third and four for the Raiders Marcel Reese these are career averages 4.8 yards per carry 10 yards plus per catch but the touches per game are low He's got one catch today for 45 on that first possession for the Raiders and two carries for eight yards. Third and five. 
McGloin sets, he throws, incomplete. Holmes, the intended receiver, Sean Smith. The tallest corner in the NFL at six foot three. Able to get his hand on it, and Oakland forced to punt. Yeah, he had a better shot at it than the Oakland receiver on the crossing route, right in the middle of the screen here, as he undercuts Holmes, and really should have picked this one off. Got right hand on it, couldn't close. Marquette King, who had a punt. There's a wide open gunner right here. King had a punt And blocked. another one. And there you go. Dan Fouts calls it. Reese on the toss. It makes you wonder what the Chiefs were thinking here. Are they going to try and block a punt? King has had two blocked this year, but you've got both gunners with no coverage. Chimdi Chekwa. The pass connection made from Reese. We talk about Reese's versatility. That's one thing we hadn't seen. Now put that on the graphic. Dave Taub, special teams coach for the Kansas City Chiefs. Raiders keep this drive alive. McLaurin looking end zone. Three Chiefs defenders in the area. Rod Streeter, the intended receiver for Oakland. Well, you got to think that uh, maybe there might have been a Raider receiver wide open. Whenever there's three guys covering one, there's Flowers, there's Barry. Now watch, here comes from the other side of the field. The other safety, Lewis. McGloin hoping for some type of pass interference because that's the only chance that they had on that play. So a second and ten now at the 33-yard line of Kansas City. McGloin is 7 of 16 for 117 yards. There's Jennings up the middle, not much there. Picks up a yard. Dontari Pose had a big year for Kansas City, controlling the line of scrimmage in on the stop. You now one of the reasons the Chiefs are 10 and 3 is their takeaway differential. Now at a plus 17. 30 takeaways on the season so far. Number one in the NFL at plus 17. 13 giveaways. That's the lowest total in the league. Third and nine for Oakland. Shotgun for McLaurin. They trail 28 to 10 against the Chiefs who are looking to move to 11 and 3. McLaurin gets rid of it. It's intercepted, picked off by Eric Berry. Berry still on his feet. Spun down across the 35 by Pachos. And a late flag. But it was a all-out blitz by the Chiefs. Bob Sutton, one of the most aggressive defensive coordinators in the NFL. In the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, offensive team number 65. Penalties half the distance to the goal line. First down, Kansas City. And it's Mike Brizel with the penalty. Now, watch the blitz coming from the Chiefs. You see Derek Johnson coming, you see Brandon Flowers coming. And McGloin just bailing out on this throw. Middle of the field, playing center field is Eric Berry. He cuts in front of Streeter. Now there's, they ought to challenge to see if he was down by contact there because it didn't look like Streeter made contact with him as he was making that interception. Here's the penalty by Brizel as he comes in with a late hit. Third interception of the season for Berry. After the penalty, Kansas City has it at the 16-yard line. Play action. Smith. Toss it to Charles. Jamal Charles. Monster day for Charles. Touchdown. Number four. Well, and three of his touchdown receptions all on the same screen pass. Right outside here. Watch the blocking as he gets help. Jeff Allen. And Stevenson. And again, untouched on the screen pass. So easy for Chiefs and Charles. If it keeps working, why would you stop? Why don't you run it every play? <laughs> 
five catches, 111 yards, three touchdowns on the screenplay, one rushing touchdown as well, the extra point from Suckup. And Alex Smith with his third touchdown pass of the day, all to Jamal Charles. Penalty Offside. marker thrown. Defense number 23. A five-yard penalty will be added to the kickoff. The AT is good. 35 to 10, the Kansas City Chiefs exploding here in the Bay Area. The NFL on CBS is sponsored by Charles Schwab. And by Buffalo Wild Wings. Wings, beer, sports. Out across the Bay Bridge from San Francisco to Oakland, 35 to 10, the Chiefs leading the Oakland Raiders. Four touchdowns for Jamal Charles, the last four touchdown game by a Chief. Larry Johnson, October of 2006 against Seattle. And now Suckup will kick it off. Taiwan Jones is deep. They'll take a knee. Raiders with a touchback. Thursday on CBS, it's no mystery why elementary is a hit. Johnny Lee Miller and Lucy Liu star in elementary. That's Thursday at 10, 9 central, only CBS. It is a rib injury for Charles Woods, and his return is questionable for Oakland. Yeah, you take the shoulder pads away, that... Uh Makes it no longer questionable. First down for the Raiders. Out of the pistol. Now trailing 35 to 10. Jennings up the middle and he picks up three on the play. 532 left to go in this first half. Oakland Raiders, 11 straight losing seasons. That's the longest active streak in the NFL. Laugh. Last playoff appearance was 2002. Dennis Allen completing his second year as the head coach of the Raiders, the 18th head coach in franchise history. We talked to Allen, Reggie McKenzie. They believe that progress is being made, but the results aren't showing it. This team went 4-12 last season. A loss here would drop them to 4-10. McGloin on the slant to Reese. First down. Just shy of the 35-yard line. Is it ruled incomplete? And it is. Well, he was wide open, and the ball was perfectly thrown by McGloin. Brandon Flowers on the coverage. And that ball coming loose there and does hit the ground. And so that's a good call by the officials and great play by Flowers as he was able to reach around Reese with his right hand and dislodged that pass. We asked Flowers, you know, who's the guy you looked up to growing up? And he said, without hesitation, Champ Bailey. That's why he wore number 24. That was his favorite quarterback. McGloin almost intercepted by Lewis. And Lewis loses his helmet on the play, and that's a flag. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He goes from a potential pick six to now a first down for the Raiders. Helmet cannot come off, no matter how upset you are. And he's plenty upset. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct. Defense number 23, taking his helmet off in the field of play. 15 yards, first down, open. I'm not sure he was just taking off. He's kind of just slapping the sides of his helmet. And again, McLoy not seeing out in front of his receivers. Uh, he took the... He did take the chin strap. The chin strap, strap off. That came loose. Wasn't quite Dwayne Rudd, Kansas City against Cleveland. When Rudd ripped off the helmet at the end of the game and it gave the Chiefs another chance. Anderson kicked the field goal for a win in Cleveland in one of the more bizarre endings. Did you do that game? You know, I, I was involved in that game, man. Yes, thanks for pointing that out. I thought you had a good memory, but that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, particular John Tate 
running down the field. Uh, okay, okay, we get the picture. Trent Green leading the Chiefs. <laughs> Dan Deerdorf in the booth. It's all coming back to me. All the memories are flooding back. Yeah, that's what happens when the Chiefs are playing. Anything can happen. Taiwan Jones is now in there. On a first down, Bob Sutton, the defensive coordinator for the Chiefs. What a terrific job he's done. Former head coach at Army for nine years. Navy with another win over Army yesterday. McLean floats it over the head of Jones. Incomplete. I'm not so sure why the fans are booing. There was nothing on that screen pass. That was a smart play by McLean to throw it over the uh, Chiefs bench. Watch it, trying to throw a ball out here. But watch the Chiefs, they see this bunch formation, and they go right to it. That's a heads-up play by McLean. Second and ten. McLean is one for his last nine throwing the football. To the ground, and Jennings getting to the outside, and he spilled out. Down low by Quinton Demps. It's a four-yard pickup. Matt McGloin had three busloads of fans from Scranton, his hometown, come to watch him play last week in New Jersey. And McGloin was touched. He said that you know, Scranton, great place to grow up, dedicated fans. If they took the bus this week, that would have been impressive. Yeah, but you know that nobody from Dunder Mifflin went to that game. <laughs> oh, no. That, that was a shame. I, I thought they should have represented Scranton. The office. Third and six. McLoin. Deep ball. It's caught. Denarius Moore. Inside the 25. Working against Marcus Cooper, the rookie out of Rutgers. 34 yards on the pass play. Well, they say McLoin doesn't have a very strong arm. He didn't really have to if you get the ball out on time. And give your receiver a chance. Really good concentration by Moore as Cooper was right there on his inside. Secures the catch all the way to the ground and a huge play for the Raiders and McLoin. Denarius Moore coming back from shoulder injury and missed the last three games. McLoin now 151 yards but two interceptions. McLoin trying to set up his receiver Jacoby Ford. And Flowers is leaving right now for Kansas City. I don't know if this ball was deflected by Tamba Hali or not, but he was certainly in the throwing lane. McGloin, who's listed at six foot one, that's generous. He's already had one pass deflected today. That ball just seemed to get away from him. Actually went to the Redskins rookie camp, then went to Carolina, traveled to Oakland for a workout, took a physical, and he's been with the Raiders ever since. Undrafted free agent out of Penn State. Pump and throw. Flags down. Rivera, intended receiver, linebacker Zombo back there for Kansas City. Yeah, good call. Zombo running up the back of... Michael Rivera in the end zone. Let's give the Raiders the ball at the one-yard line. Defense, number 51. Foul turn in the end zone. The ball will be placed at the one-yard line. First down, open. It's a 23-yard penalty against Kansas City. Zombo filling in for Justin Houston. And watch him never look back for the ball. Chops the arms of Rivera right there. And then pulls his arms in like, oh, I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. Zombo himself, an undrafted free agent. Rashad Jennings gets the call. His second touchdown of the day. Into the black hole for Jennings. And Oakland trying to hang around against the Chiefs. Jameez Alawali with a key block there. 6'1", 240 pounds, lead blocker here. Going behind Middlelick Watson, the tight end as well on that side. Just what the Raiders needed going into halftime. 
A high scoring first half, 35 to 17. Chiefs in front and even three minutes to play. Eight plays, 80 yards. Remember the helmet coming off, aided the Raiders. <laughs> Jennings, he got some fans on his side on that one. Coming up, Verizon Halftime Report, JV and company, the latest NFL scores and highlights. That's coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. Chiefs 35, Raiders 17, three minutes to go in the first half. Matt McGloin, 8 of 22, 151 yards, two interceptions for McGloin. Jennings with his second rushing touchdown, capping off that long drive for Oakland. And now Janikowski will kick it off with Gray and Davis deep for Kansas City. This one will roll to the end zone. Touchback as Davis takes a knee. How about the day that Jamal Charles has had for Kansas City? Well, first play of the game on a screen pass. He goes down the sidelines for 49 yards. In the exact same type of play, totally uncovered for 39 yards. Gets his 11th rushing touchdown of the season there. And then, hey, how about another screen pass? Hey, another touchdown. Well, last week, Kansas City put up 45 points in that win over Washington. The last time they had scored 45 points or more was November of 2005, a 45-17 win in Houston. They could top that number here today. They've got 35 with three minutes to go in the first half. Career high four touchdowns for Charles. Smith throwing. Connection made with Dwayne Bow as he is out of bounds. It's a six yard pickup. We asked Bow about Smith. He said he's a leader and in critical situations he's the same guy. So the consistency of his personality and his approach. He said Smith has a way of firing this offense up. And in practice that's what Andy Reid tries to create is difficult situations and Bo says that Smith handles them all the same with great uh, poise and confidence. And obviously that rubs off on his teammates. Bo now in his seventh year for the Chiefs. Maybe his numbers are not what they had been in other years, but the wins are a lot higher. Hand off to Charles up the middle. Five-yard pickup just across the 30-yard line. And it is enough for a first down. So Dwayne Bow over 50 catches this season. But the biggest key, a chance to win their 11th game of the year. Bo has talked about the team concept and the brotherhood on this squad as we hit the two-minute warning. Coming up, Verizon Halftime Report. Join JB and the rest of the gang. The latest NFL scores and highlights. That's coming up on the Verizon Halftime Report. 38 points in the first half last week. That's the most in the NFL this season. Kansas City has 35 here today. Charles Woodson is back in for the Raiders. Play fake. Smith out of the pocket. Alex Smith goes down just across the 30-yard line. Lamar Houston ranging over for Oakland defensively. And we're down to a minute 45 to play in this first half. There is the veteran Woodson now in his 16th year in the league. Alex Smith in the first half has only missed one pass out of nine throws. Really hasn't had to go down the field all that much. Raiders without any sacks on Smith, but they have forced him out of the pocket a couple of times. Chiefs had scored 111 points in their last three games. They had scored 130 in the previous six games. Smith throwing. Donnie Avery, open man. Brought down as he crossed the 40-yard line, and it is enough for a first down. Hit by the linebacker, Kevin Burnett. We get a timeout with 1.05 to play in this first half. Kansas City up big. Two interceptions, big part of the storyline in this first half. Matt McGloin picked off by Eric Berry twice. Alex Smith, no mistakes. That's been the theme throughout the season for Smith. Now 21 touchdowns in the season and six interceptions. On first down, Smith breaks out of trouble. Smith takes it to the second level and more. Flag is thrown back at the 41-yard line. Raiders are indicating it will work against Kansas City. It's an 18-yard run, but will it be nullified? We 
We are under a minute to go now in the second quarter. Holding. Offense. Number 25. And your penalty. Still first down. And it is Jamal Charles called on the hold for the Chiefs. Yeah, it looked like uh, Kevin Burnett was thinking about coming on the blitz. And as he does, Jamal Charles will just grab him. And as Smith steps up in the pocket, Burnett reacts and tries to chase him. That's where the hold happens as uh, Charles reached out, grabbed a bunch of jersey. Six penalties, 76 yards against Kansas City. Well, that's the only bad thing they've done today. Had those three on the Raiders' touchdown drive in the, earlier in the uh, first quarter. Shotgun for Smith. Looks. Throws underneath. Charles is brought down quickly. Five-yard gain through the air. Kevin Burnett among those there defensively for Oakland. Well, this is where you know that Alex Smith is not going to make a mistake. He's, he's only thrown six interceptions all season. And he's always uh, been very good with the ball, very cautious at times, taking the check down there for very little yardage, but not risking the interception that would give the Raiders good field position. Smith 3-0 and in his career against the Oakland Raiders. And a timeout. Kansas City has one remaining. Now's the time to catch up on episodes of Person of Interest. Jim Caviezel and Michael Emerson star Tuesday at 10, 9 Central, only CBS. Kind of a homecoming here for Alex Smith. After our meeting with him yesterday, went to his own house in Los Gatos, where family and friends were gathering. Not a bad deal. He had family coming to the game here today as well in Oakland. Smith spent eight years as a member of the San Francisco 49ers. Long ball, slapped away. Bo in a matchup with Phillip Adams. Yeah, Adams does a real good job on this entire route, forcing Bo to the sidelines. May have gotten away with a little push right there, but ball was on target. But watch the left hand there. Perfect timing by Phillip Adams. Now, if the Raiders that can hold the Chiefs here short of the first down, they should burn a timeout before the uh, punt team comes out. Just the second incomplete pass from Alex Smith today. He's 10 out of 12, 162 yards, three touchdowns. Third and 15. Smith to Bow. And he takes a shot from Jenkins short of the first down. Makes you wonder how a receiver hangs on to the ball, but that's why Dwayne Bow is one of the best in the league. Watch the hit from number 21 right there as the ball comes in. And Bo makes the catch, takes the hit, and bounces right up. And a timeout taken with 38 seconds to play in the first half. And it's good to see that good, clean, legal hit there by Mike Jenkins. The message is getting through to some of these defenders to not go to the head, to throw the shoulder, and avoid the penalty. Raiders have two timeouts remaining. Dustin Colquitt to punt it. Greg Jenkins, the return man, standing at his own eight-yard line. Jenkins, the rookie out of Alabama State. Colquitt, pro bowler last year. High punt. Fair catch called for. He brings it in cleanly right around the 13-yard line. 39-yard punt. Now yeah, we'll see how Dennis Allen approaches this with Matt McGloin. Do you trust this youngster to run your hurry-up offense? you got two timeouts, a long way to go, and only 30 seconds to work with. But what do you got to lose? Trail here by 18. I say go for it. Raiders 3-3 three and three at home this season. Wins over Jacksonville, San Diego, and Pittsburgh. Reese in the backfield. On first down. Give it to Reese. And they'll go conservative. One-yard gain. Not taking any chances. And time is going to run out in this first half. 
Jamal Charles. Four touchdowns for the Chiefs. Kansas City with a pick six as well from Eric Berry. And that's the end of the first half with the Chiefs leading the Raiders 35 to 17. We'll come back for Ryzen Halftime Report after this message and a word from your local station. You're watching the NFL on CBS.